Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be talking about my Candale Topstone Carbon. We're going to be mainly focusing on the rotor components that are on the bike though, so that is the 1x13 group set that I've been running now for three months. So we'll start the shifters. So these can, are incredibly nice to use. They've got a really nice pull on and smooth pull on them. And even the shifting, once you learn where the shifting point is, they can feel a little bit dead if you don't kind of get used to them but I think they're absolutely fine once you get used to them. The blade on the shifter itself is amazing. Um, the only thing I found is during use, you can see there's a little bit of wear coming on the uh, hood here. And I've not done a massive amount of mileage on this, so I'd be interested to see um, how long these hoods actually last. But um, that's the shifter there, so let's move on to the crank set. So I've got a 2M power on this bike. This is my 2M um, power mountain bike crank set that I've used in here. People are asking about axle length. Um, so this is the mountain bike axle in here to fit in this frame. I've got a 42 tooth Q on here. Um, it's um, USB rechargeable and really, really good. Like I'm really happy about the quality and the reliability of this crank. I've had it now for God over a year now and not had a single issue with it whatsoever, which is really, really nice. It fits together like a Shimano unit. So you've got a bolt on one side, which and which is like a retaining bolt, and then you've got a pinch bolt which you tighten up, make sure you do not undo that all the way because it's got two or three different threads in there and you do have to send it back to rotor to be replaced at that point. Rear end, this is where people have been complaining about shifting. Now the shifting was a little bit clunky on the rotor cassette, I'm not going to lie, but since putting this Eagle um, 1150 cassette on here which came off my FSI, I have not had a problem. The shifting on here now is almost as smooth as Shimano Ortega R8000 which is incredible. I for such a cheap change on here, this cassette's worth fifty quid, I think, and it is completely changed the shifting on this bike. It is incredible, and I won't be going back to another group set because of that now. So that's really cool. Um, braking is supplied by Magura on this group set, and again, no complaints. Magura know what they're doing. They're a mountain bike company. Um, I've got Swiss stop discs on here, which is super stiff and the braking is just like you expect from a mountain bike, no issues at all on that front, I'm really really loving it. So yeah, no complaints in the group set so far, three months in, um, I'm going to be doing hopefully some more bike packing stuff so I'll be able to test it a bit further from there and do another review from that. But if you like the content please subscribe, comment and like and I'll catch you guys later on for more content. Thanks for watching, goodbye.